Today we're talking about the art of face sculpting. Contouring, highlighting, strobing, these are all buzzwords that have taken the beauty world by storm. Previously a secret weapon exclusive to professional makeup artists, now the secret is out and makeup lovers and general consumers are searching for the best ways to sculpt their faces. There is now so much different information and often conflicting information available online and in magazines about face sculpting. So we're going to break down and demystify these techniques for you and show you the quickest and easiest ways to sculpt your face. We designed Mineral Pro Stick Foundation to be a collection of global skin tones but also a library of contour and highlight shades for every skin tone. We recommend finding a signature Pro Stick Trio, a true foundation shade, a highlighter and a contour shade. If you're a fan of glow, you may like to have a mineral glow stick handy too. First, let's do a quick face sculpting 101 and define these buzzwords. Contouring is applying a darker shade to areas of the face you want to push back, like the hollows of the cheekbones, around the borders of the face and down the sides of the nose to slim and sculpt. Highlighting is applying a lighter shade to areas of the face you want to bring forward, like tops of cheekbones, inner eye, bridge of nose, centre of forehead and chin, and brow bone. Strobing is a more glam version of highlighting, where a shimmery light reflective product is applied anywhere where you would highlight, but preferably on smooth, unlined areas of the face. You will need a signature Pro Stick Trio, a true foundation shade, one two to three shades paler and one two to three shades darker. After applying foundation, take your Pro Stick contour shade and apply around the border of the face in the shape of a three, around the sides of the temple, into the hollow of the cheekbone and then back along the lower face border to finish along the jawline, stopping before the chin. Then blend carefully with a sponge or brush. Pro sticks have been specifically designed to glide straight onto the designated areas and deposit the right amount of product. Just sweep and blend. Pro stick removes the complexity of having to decant the right amount of a messy liquid product, choosing the right brush size and density, then painting it on with precision, then blending, and it also eliminates mixing product textures like liquids, powders, creams and gels, which can lead to an uneven finish. Instead, all your face sculpting products are the exact same formula as your foundation, which means the different shades literally melt together on skin for a flawless blend. No unsightly stripes. The only tool you may need on hand is a sponge or brush to soften edges. Next, we're going to sculpt the nose. Using the edge of the Pro Stick Contour Shade, trace two fine lines along either side of the bridge of your nose. Next, using the edge of your Pro Stick Highlight Shade, the shade two to three shades paler than your foundation shade, run a line down the very center of your nose. Then blend with a sponge or brush. The number 15 or 18 Asada Couture brush works perfectly. Next, we're going to highlight the cheekbones, the forehead and chin, the cupid's bow, the brow bone, and the inner corner of the eye. Using your Pro Stick Highlight Shade, draw a C shape starting from your temples and curving around to the very top of your cheekbones, finishing above the apples. Then dot or glide onto the center of the forehead and chin, the cupid's bow, the brow bone, and the inner corner of the eye. As an advanced tip if you're feeling really pro, you can also glide directly under the cheekbone contour and directly above the jawline contour to intensify, 
As always, blend edges with a sponge or brush. Stroping is an extra step for the ultimate bone structure enhancement for those who love to glow and shimmer. For this, take your mineral glow stick and sweep on anywhere you would highlight. Strobing will give you an ultra glam and dramatic highlight that will photograph beautifully. Apply on the tops of cheekbones, the brow bone, down the centre of the nose, on the cupid's bow, and in the inner corner of the eye. Avoid the forehead and chin this time unless you want a super glowy look. Apply as lightly or as generously as you like to achieve the desired coverage. And then as always, blend and soften with a sponge or brush. Once you've finished, just a light dusting of mineral rice setting powder to lock in your work and you're good to go. For really dramatic effects, you can lay a powder equivalence of your contouring and highlighting shades on top of your pro stick and glow stick. Gems. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below and make sure to tag us or hashtag Asada Selfie if you post a photo wearing Asada. We love checking out your makeup looks on Facebook and Instagram.